everybody, it's me again. I know from my third video of the day. So I recently um it's yeah, it's bedtime, stormed for sleep, under my pajamas, um my makeup's off. <laughs> no makeup on here, all gone. Um I bought two of the BB cream. Um, that are out. One from Clinique and one from Estee Lauder. They both are really good to me, but the Estee Lauder one is my favorite because it smells better to me. Um, it feels like it feels better on my face too. So, but I I like both of them. So I wanted to go over them. First, I'll go with the Clinique one. Price point, they're about the same. Um, so it's good. Ounces. This one's 1.4 ounces. And this one is 1 fluid ounce. Okay, the Clinique one. Um, as you know, Clinique is pretty much fragrance free. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, which is good because a lot of people don't like to smell, you know, like they, they don't like that on their face, it smells, or they're just sensitive to the fragrance in it, which is good. So this one is Age Defense BB Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and I got this in the color Shade 03. So, I don't know if this is the darkest one or not. Anyway, it says, Perfecting Cream Conceal helps prevent premature signs of aging with UVA and UVB protection. Optics instantly help reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles. Special ingredients help defend against in environmental aggressors and soothe skin. Long wearing and oil control formula works beautifully under foundation or alone. Skin feels soft, smooth, looks brighter, perfect. Apply daily all over the face. Now, the thing I have with this one is, um, I would not wear this. This is, once again, just me. I would not really wear this under a foundation. Um, and I wouldn't wear it to bed like a moisturizer because I wanted to test it out. And my face was perfect. I mean, not perfect, but it was fine. And I put this on. And I went to bed with it on. And I woke up with pimple. <laughs> my face is very sensitive like that. I cannot go to bed with any makeup on. No matter what makeup it is, I will wake up and I'll have a blemish. So, for me, this is not like a moisturizer. To me, this is, this is not, yeah, this is not like a face moisturizer that you can put on your face at night or in the morning. No. For me, this is more of a tinted moisturizer or a very light coverage type foundation product. Um, the thing is, I didn't put moisturizer on my face before it, um, when I wore it, so you don't need a thing is if you don't need a moisturizer with it I'm just I wear this as like a foundation no way would I wear this to bed or anything like that because then I'll wake up with a blemish so if you have sensitive skin you might not want to gloss things up on it and then another thing I had it on and I put a little bit of powder over my face and then it just it seemed like it was a little too much. So I figured out I don't really need any powder with this. I basically can just wear this and that's it. Um, it's not a flawless coverage to me. It, it's like if you're gonna, you don't wanna wear makeup, but you wanna wear makeup. So basically, um, it's, it's, it's a good product. I like it, but I wouldn't wear it as like a 
foundation. Or I'd wear it with the foundation, but not... It's a very light coverage product, basically. <laughs> so, if you're looking for like a full coverage, you need to get like a little foundation. This is everything in one. A primer, a moisturizer, a skin protector. It did, I mean, I have no makeup on right now. So, when I would put this on, it kind of diminishes the blemishes and stuff like that. So, that's what I like. I'm the kind of girl, I do not wear foundation every day. So, this is good for me. The BB creams, I really like. Because I can just put this on my face, put some mascara on, and some lip gloss, and I'm good to go. You know, um, I only really do my makeup, like really do my makeup if I'm going to the mall or out to eat go to the movies, or um, church, or like somewhere that I really want to look pretty and stuff like that, and have a makeup all done. Otherwise, every day I am in workout gear, <laughs> and you know, my Victoria's Secret pink outfit with the yoga pants and tennis shoes or flip flops, and um, hair is usually up in a ponytail, or back somehow so this is good for that that's why I like the BB cream so I got the Clinique one and I like it I do like it a lot it's really good but it's not my favorite and the only reason why it's not my favorite is because it doesn't smell like anything <laughs> so the next one is the Estee Lauder BB cream and it's Estee Lauder Daywear BB cream and this is in shade 02 medium. So this is the darkest one. I think. Pretty sure. It was the darkest one that they had. I got this one at the Navy Exchange, the Ness. And then I got this one at Carson Perry Scott. Um, which is a department store here in Illinois. But I got this one at the Navy Exchange. So other military ladies, or military spouse ladies, it is a lot cheaper at the exchange than at the department store. And this one says, um, for all skin types, to use apply as a last step in your skincare regimen. Wear alone or under foundation. So that's really nice. Um, the thing is, I wouldn't use it, I mean, I guess, yeah, use it as your last step in your skincare. I'm assuming, you know, you put your... You wash your face, you tone, you moisturize, and then you put this on. But again, um, I can't wear this to bed. I tried it, and I woke up with a blemish. So it, to me, it's not a moisturizer. It's just a, a lighter coverage foundation type thing for me. So again, I won't wear this to bed. Um, and that's basically what it says. I mean, they both came with little papers and stuff like that. So this one, what I like about it is it smells like it has a really pretty fresh cucumber smell to it and I love it. It smells so good. Um, and again, it's pretty much the same coverage as the Clinique one. It just smells better to me. I like that really pretty fresh smell. Um, so I've been reaching for this one more if going somewhere I guess you can say now with these BB creams this one I put the powder my powder over top of it and it didn't clump or anything like that um, the clean Clinique one it clumped and it just didn't look right and it felt too heavy and it also made me kind of be like that because I do have Estee Lauder powder so maybe it just works better with Estee Lauder or BB cream I don't know so I like both of them but for sure, the um, Estee Lauder one. Oh my god, yeah, it has a really pretty, pretty good smell. Cucumber, fresh, clean. Um, I'm gonna smell the Clinique one again. It just doesn't. It smells like nothing. I'm not gonna lie. There is more in the Clinique one, but I'm gonna use this one more. It just smells like nothing. Um, you know. Which, that's what Clinique's for, you know, for it. Their makeup doesn't have any fragrance in it. 
but um, yeah. Packaging wise, <laughs> um, I like the Estee Lauder packaging. I think it's prettier. Um, but um, yeah, I like them. Um, it's pretty good. But whatever I like, you may not like, or what you like, I don't like. I don't know. <laughs> so just let me know what you guys like. Um, is there a certain BB cream that you like? I know there's tons out there right now. I know Stilla has one. I think Tarte maybe have one. I don't know if they do or not. Um, who else? Galactus Benefit. I don't know if Benefit. Let me know if you have a favorite, favorite, favorite BB cream um, down below or video message, comment, whichever. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> so sweet dreams and good night.